when we're not allowed to acknowledge that rioting is rioting and it is bad, and that silence is not violence, but violence is violence, the world has gone mad. I think he's talking to you. Say we're not allowed, we're not able. Between. Who's the people stopping the conversation? Who are they? <laughs> as long as she doesn't say I'm the problem, then we're home free. <laughs> um, people let work at networks, <laughs> frankly, like the one I'm speaking on right now, who try and claim that... <laughs> Dismissing the attack! Or, in the words of Carlson, to say the committee is wholly illegitimate. I'm saying it's important, and because it is important, it's being rejected by the MAGA media. I think you yourself, um, you know, while you're a nice guy, you know, you're full of sanctimony. Um, you know, you become part of one of the parts of the problem of the media. Can we dispense with the recession debate real quick? Are we in a recession, and does the term matter? <laughs> Knives out for Biden, Tucker Carlson says, claiming the press has turned on the president. Now Carlson spun it as a conspiracy theory, of course. Calm down, now get back to your seat. I'll take care of this. Calm down. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Doctor, you want another phone? Everything's gonna be all right. Please, Sister, please don't handle this. Is the president of the United States a racist? Is he suffering? from some kind of illness. Is he fit for office? And if he's unfit, then what? I want to dive right into your argument uh, about right. what bosiderism is. Did I just say bosiderism? What the hell am I talking about? Uh, about right. what bosiderism is uh, and, and why it's failing the public. Who, who's, you know, is it that we're treating Democrats and Republicans equally and ignoring GOP radicalism? Is it radicalism? Pull it together, Brian. If you can't pull this off, the big guy isn't going to be happy. And you know what happened last time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I wonder where my club will go. But many Democrats say no to Fox's interview requests. Many 2020 hopefuls. So I'm curious. Why did you say yes? Looking ahead to 2020, uh, one reason why I'm taking you seriously as a contender is because of your presence on cable news. More and more, I think hate movement is the proper term for what's going on. I think it's a helpful frame to understand what the president is doing. Trump and some of his allies are promoting a hate movement against the American press. This is Joe Biden out there on a vigorous bike ride. Not wearing a helmet, but definitely wearing a mask, by the way. Fox's narrative and ra talk radio's narrative for months has been that Joe Biden is falling apart. You just heard Ben Shapiro say it, falling apart. And there he is riding a bike. Almost everyone trusts some form of media. Everyone trusts something. It's just that many people trust CNN and many others trust Fox, even though we're not really two sides of the same coin. <laughs> different when we do it. Yeah, I'm talking about Stelter again today. Not just because he can't stop being an insufferable lying clown baby, but also due to the fact that his days at CNN are apparently numbered. Might as well have our fun while we still can before this is Stelter's new job. You're cracking me up.